I'm Sophia here from agreatchallenge.blogspot.com so I really wasn't going to film what I'm doing right now but I decided that I might as well do it not just because I needed another video but because maybe there's something here that you're going to find interesting and some ideas so what am I doing I'm organizing the kitchen again um, because it's just too much I can't take it anymore I have too much stuff on display I have too much stuff that's staying on top of the counter I just I'm, I don't know I can't deal with it anymore so the kids are on the timer um if you can see on my stove they only have an hour and 31 minutes left i threw them back into their room to clean their room because it just exploded again and i'm just like not dealing with it anymore they get to do their room routinely every week and it's amazing how much they can destroy whatever work they done there in one week it's just like it almost like it never happened and pretty much it's the same thing here with the kitchen this kitchen three days ago was impeccable there was nothing on the counters everything was put away and three days later this is what you see so here's the main counter and I did start this actually believe it or not this morning the counter had been entirely cleaned off but again as usual I push everything here so now I have this entire counter here that's the whole mess then I started working on here and there's still stuff that I need to get rid of I did remove all of the tea um, tins that are in there and I started putting them in here I had them on the little uh, lazy Susan earlier this week but I have too many tins so I realized that you know what maybe if I light them up like this and they're on top of each other I can just label the front and that way I can find what tea I need, just pull it out and put it back on the pile. That works for me, at least for now. Um, I have to do something with the space here. I've never done this. If you remember my last kitchen organization, I really didn't do anything with this space here. I don't even know if there is room to put a shelf or anything, but I got to do something with this area right there. I have to do something with the area that's right here. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. And of course, I got to get rid of all the stuff that's here. Started emptying this area over there. I want to remove these as well. Um, I'd like to be able to remove some of the stuff that's there. And then, of course, the top of the fridge. I don't want anything on the fridge. The, all of this stuff has got to go. I want to do the area here underneath the dog crates as well. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly. And yesterday, I actually did work on this area here so I kind of reorganized a little bit and then I have this pull out um, you know bin here for the items that we use the most and yeah that's about it so I'm gonna work around the kitchen today try to reorganize it I'm gonna purge and get rid of some stuff um, it's just unsightly and I just can't live with it anymore I'd like to have a counter that has nothing on it and I'd like to be able to have a place for everything but the problem is hi Electra hello baby hello you good girl yes she is the problem is that not everything has a place uh, to go to so it ends up being on the counter or stashed in a drawer or stashed inside a uh, cabinet and really because they don't belong there what happens is that you end up putting it somewhere else and then it displaces something else that's end up on the counter and then you put it back in another cupboard it just doesn't make any sense so obviously there's some serious purging that needs to happen today um i don't know maybe you'll get some ideas out of it i'd like to do the uh spice cabinet as well and this is what the spice cabinet looks like right now so obviously there's a lot of stuff that needs to be removed um, way too many spice most of them I'm sure expired so we're gonna do that today and I hope I'll get some good results I don't know how many hours I'm gonna spend in here but basically I am NOT leaving the kitchen until it is done so how are we doing with the bedroom upstairs um, pretty good pretty good okay you have an hour and 30 26 minutes how are you doing we're working on the bed right now. And? Um, doing pretty good. We filled up the trash bag. You're putting old toys that you don't use? Yeah. Um, Some of the broken the, ones. There's also this um, big uh, thing that we're throwing metal. out. Yeah. That big thing that you're throwing out. Yeah, what is it's it? It's like this metal bar thing. That we're you have a metal bar in your room? Yeah. yeah it's it's in my bag. Big. I'll go get it. No, no, that's all right. I'll find that later on. You have two trash bags to fill. Not just one. I have. Don't give me the look. I two. Have. Okay. See you later. 
Okay, so we're going to do things in an organized fashion. I'm going to start with this area here, and I'm going to move towards this area over there, do all of this, and then move over here, and then end on this side right here. All of this has got to be cleaned as well. i got to get rid of this thing. So, yeah, I have my work cut out for me as always, but I'm going to do everything today. I'm going to do the um, junk drawer. I'm going to try to figure out what to do with these because these are absolutely useless. Useless drawers. I don't know what to do with them. Um, most of them have just random junk. I would like to be able to just remove them all together and have a space to put all of the uh, cookie sheets and things like this, but that doesn't seem to be practical. I would have to cut, you know, those. Uh, oh, I don't know if you can see them. I would have to cut the uh, um, things here. Let me see. Can I remove those? Oh, yeah, they can be removed. All right. So, yeah, it's not practical for me to do that. So I'll have to find a better use for those. And I'm going to go over this one here, reorganize it a little bit as well. So you get the idea, right? I'm working from one side to the other. And yeah, I'm going to be here for quite some time today. Okay, so this way now is fine with me. I did organize it the last time and it's pretty much stayed the same. I do have some dishes in the dishwasher, so this is going to get filled up again. Uh, let me see what I can do. I have those two things here that I can probably put in the basement because the season is over anyway. That's food salsa and whatnot. So I'll remove that. That big bowl, I got to find a better place for it. And then I have those two right here as well that I want to remove. Um, they are kickstands. I don't know what to do with them. I have a feeling they're going to go in the basement as well. And then on here, this is pretty much organized you remember when I did that um, yeah so I don't have to do anything here just take care of what's on top and then here it's pretty much uh, organized as well this yeah I'm probably gonna get the tools out of here kind of like straighten this up and then over here um, I'm gonna keep some and then I have the ice cream maker there that we don't use so that's gonna go I gotta get rid of it and all right so I gotta reorganize and then I gotta clean um, the bottom part right here because it's really gross and yep that's what I'm gonna do so I'll see you in a minute after I've done all of that so I've already done some progress here everything has been reorganized and clean um what I'm doing here is that the stuff that I use the most most of the time again is on the top so I cleaned all the shelves and then stuff that I use less like the uh, crock pot or the um, you know regular juicer I put at the bottom and I did get rid of my griddle uh, that griddle was broken the bottom part had missing feet so it was wobbly then it cracked so anyway even though the plates were still good the griddle itself we've had it oh for at least eight years and it was really not working anymore. I could still do uh, pancakes and things like this, but it was it required my propping it so that it wouldn't be wobbly and all of that. So I might as well just throw it away and replace it. I did get rid of the ice cream maker. So these are basically all of my appliances. I'm leaving a space here empty for the replacement griddle because I'm going to have to get another one because we do like making pancakes on Sunday and things like that. So that's done and I did remove everything that was on top except for the big bowl. That's what Scott uses to make uh, pizza dough and it's used regularly so it's pretty much clean. I mean there's maybe a little bit of dust on it. I just refreshed it but I just want to give you an idea of what happens when you put stuff on top of your cabinets and don't take care of them now my mom had a great idea I have those two crystal um cake stands which i to be honest never use but they were gifts so i'm keeping them so my mom knowing that i'm not the best of housewives put a uh, plastic wrap over them on top like this to keep them clean because what happens is that look at the gook on it you see this this is all the stuff the grease and the dirt you see it you see the contrast from your kitchen when you put stuff on top of cabinets hence the reason why if i was to ever redesign this kitchen i would have the cabinets go all the way up to the ceiling that way you can't put anything up there because the reality is that really ladies tell me down below how many times do you go up there and actually clean the stuff you put on display most of the time we don't do it and and if you do well then you're a much better housekeeper than i am but yeah if my mom had not put this thing on and look how beautiful it is underneath um, this thing would need to be cleaned. So all I got to do now is just remove this film that's just literally filthy. And this is life unscripted. I have no problem showing you how real 
um, you know, kitchens can get. Um, this is not a channel where you're going to see pretty stuff from Pottery Barn and everything is perfect. So, yeah, I don't need to clean it. Maybe just the feet. Yeah, I do, I do have to clean that. So I'm going to rinse them off and they're going to go inside this um, crate here. And that's going to go in the basement in my storage room. That way I know they're there. I'm not going to rewrap them. I uh, probably should, but, you know, again, I would have to clean them anyway if I was to use them so yeah that's that for the kickstands and I don't want anything here except for that bowl this is done I don't want anything on top anymore so I did the junk drawer um, and I'm only keeping basic stuff like dog poopy bags and you know tape this you should always have one on hand um i have at least five in the house probably don't need five but i need one in the kitchen because whenever you're on the first floor second floor whatever and you need to measure something you need to be able to find it right away and then basic tools pliers and um, needle nose pliers and a screwdriver that's it uh, batteries are here there's really nothing much in there there's a few little tools like exacto knife and bag clips and a few uh, highlighters and sharpies and one pen that's it this is the stuff i'm trashing i'm not keeping of course there's a gazillion pens as usual i don't want to see them anymore i'm sure i have duplicates of every single one of those crayola because i buy them every year and then i have some you know the usual stuff you find in your junk drawer like really do we use these no we don't we keep them but we don't these are the chinese bags of soy sauce and duck sauce uh, how many of them do we have in our drawers actually this is not too bad because we don't really order chinese all that much but when we were in new york for instance my husband and i did our drawer once and we found a hundred of those plus the ketchups and the mustard that's just ridiculous we don't need to keep those all right and then i found two brand new of these these are the um what do you call them the uh, plugins from bath and body works and uh, the problem with those is that they get empty real fast for some reason here they get empty in two and a half weeks and quite frankly it's not like you really really can smell them so they are a big disappointment for me and i don't have the plug-in anymore it fell and cracked and i threw it away so i really don't have any more use for this uh, yeah i'm trashing that as well and then you know random stuff whatever these i'm gonna bring them to the basement but for now they're gonna go in that uh, crate over there that I said I was going to bring to the basement. So that way I get them out of the way and this out. Now I got to tackle these drawers. Okay, so I'm ready to tackle those stupid drawers. I don't know what you guys do with this. Obviously, it's long enough to put the foil and uh, plastic bags and things like this. So that would be those two drawers. But at the bottom here, those three, no idea what I'm going to do with them. But I have a notepad here because I know I got to buy some supplies. So as I go along through the entire ordeal of reorganizing my kitchen, I'm just going to go ahead and make a list. So we got uh, Ziplocs here. So obviously I got to see how many of them I got and whether or not I need to buy some. I got some in the basement, so I know I don't have to do that. And it's the same thing here on um, the parchment paper. You know what? This is wax paper, standard microwavable. I don't even think I've used it all that much in the years that I've had it. So I'm trashing this. Wax paper I never used. So that's that. This is a Ziploc and then that's it. So I'm going to go through the rest, make my list, and we'll see what I can come up with with those three at the bottom. more randomness going on um this is part of my tripod so obviously it doesn't belong here this i'm keeping all right so now i got some plastic um forks and knives and things and i know i have other boxes somewhere so i think i'm gonna use one of those drawers just for those these are the little pick for um corn on the cup so i'm gonna keep that as well these are the skewers that are made out of wood. They burn. I don't like them, so I really don't use them. These are okay until you put them in the dishwasher. They are the caps for the soda cans. Um, we really don't use them. I think we have 12 of them. See, they get all busted in the dishwasher. I don't know if you see that, so I can trash that. Cookie cutter was looking for that, so keeping that. Uh, the drawer liner, I'm probably going to keep that and see what I can do with it. And then everything is here. This is a carving um kit for pumpkins so obviously i'm going to keep that 
Here's another piece that goes with it. That, I have no idea how I got it. Um, oh, it's part of the KitchenAid. So there you go. That's going to go down in here with the rest of the accessories. And pretty much everything else here. That's a lobster thing. We ate lobster once in the last um, 18 years. I think it's reasonable for me to get rid of it. That's that. And then these are um, toothpicks, so I gotta keep those. Just reorganize them. So yeah, more randomness going on. Uh, I'm gonna make my list and start putting the stuff in there. And I guess I'll move on to the next task. So this is what I did with them. So the top one, um, what we use almost every day, the large gallon bags and the little quart ones. I think they're quarts, I'm not sure, but they're the smaller ones. Here I'm gonna put the foil, I have to get a new roll. Um, and this one here, I put all of the plastic stuff, but I have a lot of forks, so I can still push that in the back. These are spoons and add some knives. So I have to put that on my list to get these, so there's plenty of room, and we do use these quite often. And then here I put all of the uh, corn on the top stuff. Cookie cutters, only have three. I have two stars and one Christmas tree. Um, obviously, I only use those at Christmas because when I do cookies, I don't really, you know, do fancy stuff. And this is the uh, kit for the pumpkin carving. So that goes in here. And I in the bottom drawer, I really didn't know what to do with it. So I put in those kitchen utensils that we use the least often. Like, for instance, the turkey baster and um, the uh, uh, potato masher thing. And what else? Um, you know, the pie cutter slash server so that's going in here it's going to take less room in the regular drawers here i have this extra one here that i actually like a lot but it doesn't fit in those so that's going to have to go in one of those drawers when i get to that so i would say that this entire area here and this has been done i'm going to go ahead and clear all of this and i'm going to tackle this one again because i do have to do some cleaning and then definitely these these are a disaster again um I have the plastic containers here, I have some, these are all the aprons, um, that's an empty shelf but I really, I mean it's not empty but there's really nothing in there that I absolutely need. And then the coffee area is just like whatever, okay? So yeah, I've got some more work to do but I'm glad I'm doing this today. This bag is almost full and I have one more bag already that's been placed on the porch uh, for bulk day later on. That's the one that had the appliances that I didn't keep. So once in a while you got to do stuff like that. You just got to, you know, dive into your kitchen and your cabinets and see what makes sense, what doesn't make sense and just get rid of the stuff you don't use. Like there's some stuff in here. Seriously, I've had it for years and I'm lucky if I used it twice in, since we got married, like twice. Like that doesn't really warrant my storing it at all. Obviously, it's not something that we use. It's not something that we need. If I can manage seven years in between not to use it, I think I can reliably get rid of it and not be worried about missing it ever. Okay, ever. All right, let me continue. So I wasn't kidding when I said I was gonna do one area at a time. This is the track for my uh, trash can. If you remember when I installed it, it was in another video. Don't mind the dirt on the floor and stuff because I just cleaned out whatever was in the cabinet. And the problem with this thing here is that it broke. Um, the reason why it broke, I'm not sure. But all I know is that this doesn't uh, stay stable in it anymore. So when you have the trash, it kind of like, um, you know, moves back. And then when you try to close it, you have this piece right here that sticks out that you can't close the uh, um, door for the cupboard. So thank goodness I have pliers in the kitchen. Remember, I have that that I kept in my, um, uh, what you call it, uh, junk drawer. So I'm going to see if I can um, get those pieces here um, kind of... I don't know. I don't even know where to start. Uh, I'm going to try to get them tight again. Uh, I don't know if I can do it. If I can't, guess what? I'm going to have to remove it and purchase another one. Because the reality here is that this is a very important tool in the kitchen and I'm tired of having to readjust it, take out the whole garbage, readjust this thing so I can close the cupboard every single day, if not five times a day. It's ridiculous. So let me see if I can fix this. And if I can't, I'll just remove it and go purchase another one. So I was able to do it. All I had to do was take the plier and where the little pieces here, the locking mechanisms are going up, they were kind of opened a little bit like this, so I just had to go in with the plier against this and that little uh, tongue, whatever you call it, and kind of like push them back together. So now I have this back in and it's really nice and solid. I can finally 
close my cupboard again one of the things that I need to do is find a locking mechanism for this particular cupboard because the dog constantly opens this and if I'm doing something in the living room whatever when I'm upstairs I come back and the whole trash can is on the floor so yeah that's one of the things that I need to put on my list so yeah here it is it's working fine and you mister is gonna have to learn not to eat my trash can um put some of the uh, contact you know um underliner whatever you call it for drawers in here because the uh, uh the wood part is really kind of damaged and i'm tired of seeing it i have most of my cleaning supplies here i have this one here with the stuff that we use most often and then on top here i have the brillo pads and things like this um and the trash bags so that's pretty much organized and what i use the most right here the long tall bottles for the cleaner for the floor and the quick shine that's right here so i did clean a little bit um that's done and then yesterday i did put those two things here which i really never use but they were kind of crummy so i put them in the dishwasher so they are clean They're easy to remove you just you know they have like specific locks with the screws so that's done too i'm just going to clear off this counter here and i will declare this entire area done at which point i will tackle this one so I have a lot of nonsense in this cabinet and I think what I'm going to do is just get rid of the stuff that I know I don't use. Um, like for instance, well the Nutribullet stuff I'm going to keep and then what's that? That's something for the Nutribullet that we don't use at all so I know I'm not going to keep that. Um, this is the nut part of the Nutribullet, I don't use this. This is the uh, extra cup, I'm going to keep that. And this is the extra cup um, ring. So I'm going to keep this. The rest has got to go. Because I've had the Nutribullet for over a year and a half. I've never used this. And I've never used this. So I might as well just get rid of it. So that can go. This is the cheese grater uh, thing. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to put it in here. We don't use it often. But I do want to keep it. And then this is more of the Nutribullet stuff, so this is the part that goes on here if I wanted to close it, but I don't really take the shake with me ever. I only drink it here, and if I take it in my car, it's going in one of those mugs with the big straw, so I don't need the those either. They can go. So keep that. That can go in here. The scale, I can put it right here this I'm gonna keep but I don't need it to be that's a uh, measure I don't need it to be that high so I have to move it down um, you know when you organize your kitchen you want to take into consideration again what you use the most and what you need to have access to the fastest um, there's no need for you to have to climb every single day on the stool to go get stuff obviously if you have to do that every day is that your stuff is not organized or um, stored in a proper way. You're going to have to figure out what it is that you need access to. Even if it means it's ugly when you open your cabinet and you get like whatever is right there um, and it's unsightly and you'd like to have everything nice and pretty and organized. The reality is that this is a kitchen, all right? We're not talking about a place where guests go and visit. You want to have access to your stuff. So this, for instance, my husband uses it every day. There's no need for it to be all the way on top. If he uses it every day to measure the water that he needs for his oil meal in the morning it needs to be right here easy access you get the point On top I have the extra Nutribullet and the scale. This container here that used to have the accessories for Nutribullet is just the cheese graters which we don't use that often so they can be all the way up there and it's much easier to access them if they are in a container. Here I have the coffee, the regular one, the instant one and instead of having the scoop dangling from here where I had all of the leftover coffee here I'm putting it into this little glass so when my husband makes the coffee he can put this back here and this will 
hopefully, that's the theory, will contain all of the ground coffee that just keeps on falling. Uh, Nutella and the um, peanut butter are here. These are my two-go cups for my coffee in the morning since I'm going back to work. Yeah, I can uh, access them easily. And here are the stuff that we use practically almost every day. If not this um, press, which I use for tea, or this one. This is definitely something that I use all the time. So I want them here, plus the glass. So I don't want to put them on top and risk to pull them and you know lose my grip and break them and then the uh, measuring thing here for the oatmeal and any cooking that we do stays here and you've seen that before when I installed that that's worked very very good for me but is it going to close that's always been an issue because the bigger one is here so let's see if it closes and it does so yeah I'm throwing away this Walden Farms peanut butter this is a calorie free peanut butter you might as well just eat melted plastic it is absolutely disgusting um, we tried it once it is so horrendous we didn't even finish our toast so throwing that away uh, this is pretty much empty i mean i think there's like a, a half a dose left so i don't need that oop coffee filters um we don't need them i have a coffee machine over there that has a universal type filter that doesn't require the paper one so they can go why hold on to them and again these are the extra um nutribullet things that i never ever use and then there's this metamucil fiber which i really don't use so that can go as well this is the best i could do um, these are the two go containers for lunch obviously i have to revisit this department so since i'm going back to work i'm gonna need some um, these are not all functional. I think the red one on top leaks, but it's good for salad and things like this. You can just can put anything liquid and you know, I have like random stuff here and then the aprons I'm leaving over there because that was organized before. So I'm done with this cabinet. Um, I did clean up the whole counter over there. So this is uh, looking pretty, pretty good to me. The dishwasher is running and again, this is done. So I'm going to tackle this here, uh, which is all my glass containers. I think I need to pare down. Uh, I do have quite a lot. My biggest issue here is where do I put the big, large balls? Like, you know, the mixing balls and things like this. They um, always ending up all the way in the back here. That's just not functional for me. So I'm going to see what I can do here. Um, the ones in the back, if you remember my last video, I said that I was going to keep them even though they didn't have um, mini leads. I think I'm going to put them somewhere else. I do use them uh, for leftovers and, you know, serving on the table things like this but they really are taking a lot of room and i don't use them all the time so i think i'm going to be able to transfer them somewhere else probably to that cabinet over there since they are not used that often well that was an ordeal um but i managed so these are the ones i'm getting rid of um because they have those old lids and i think i mentioned in another video that i don't like them so basically i'm getting rid of the pyrex believe it or not even though pyrex is awesome but the new lids just suck so i'm getting rid of those um and then the ones that take lids like this because the stuff pops off and you end up with the hole and that's defeat the purpose and i have plenty <laughs> balls left so what do i have um in here i have all of the containers for the round balls i'm going to put that on the floor so you can see and all of the round balls are here so they categorize by size um, and we do use those quite a lot in here i have all of the square lock and lock containers for those things here so i have one that has its lid uh, that's an anchor hawking and then the other ones are here i have some in the fridge right now so they'll go here when they are clean and that's just about it that's all i need and i still think it's way too much but i like to have those so every single one of them has a lid those that i don't have a lid for i got rid of them because there's no point of me keeping them uh all the way in the back over there is the uh you know moulinex potato masher and the mandolin and you know whatnot so that's going to stay in there mixing balls that's all i have i have one large one two small one and then the plastic one here the other two from this uh particular collection they cracked so i need to buy new mixing balls personally i like to get rid of all of the aluminum ones so i'll probably get a new set of mixing balls are in melanin like this um even though they crack after a couple of years but what are you gonna do these are not the kind of stuff you keep for the rest of your life anyway and then here i have those containers that are glass lock and lock to go i've always loved them these are the ones i bought um at the korean supermarket i got them for years and they are the cutest little thing so instead of having them stack whatever i'm just putting them flat like this so that gives me a flat resting surface for my mixing bowls and now hopefully i can close this cupboard and i will be done with this Ugh, no 
so what's the problem it's the mixing bowls of course so I have to try to push things around a little bit I guess if I anchor it like this that would work all right that's done let me tack all these what's in here um, I'm probably gonna have to go through this these are the you know utensils that you um, you know cutlery and stuff that you use once in a while uh, okay so this doesn't need to be changed these are the um, yeah I'm probably gonna have to do that all right so these are the dish rags these are the towels and then at the bottom here I have the strainers and that's gonna stay right there so I'm not gonna touch this I'm probably gonna go through this and remove some of those that I don't use or I don't know maybe they can be relocated to the bottom one over there if you remember That's done. Uh, what do I have here? All right, so all of the knives and stuff, they're really the extra knives that I don't use all that often because I have a set over there, if you can see it right here, um, are going in here. Now, I had two of those. I kept the one that's the best, and that's the OXO one. The KitchenAid can go. Uh, these two here, they're supposed to go with the mixer in the cupboard over there, so I'm putting that to the side. These are the little poached eggs uh, cooker thing. I'm going to put that in the bottom over there in the little Ziploc bags because we don't use them that often. Often. This is a cheese cutter. We I've never used it, so that was part of a gift, I think, like a plate of cheese. Well, you know, one of those gourmet baskets. So we never used it. That can go. This is one of those apple core. I have a second one that's much better. I'm assuming it's in the dishwasher right now. I'll have to find a place for it, which I suppose is probably going to be in here because we use that a lot. A uh, couple of paring knives, not that I use them, but we can keep them here. These are the graters. And over here, um, the nut uh, cracker. You know, that stuff just like stays open, so I put a rubber band around it so it doesn't take as much room. And I have the can openers, um, my husband's Japanese um, sharpener that goes in there. The stone is here. We use that quite often. And that's about it. Oh yeah, and the garlic press, which we don't use all that often. So that's it for that drawer, and that's pretty much the best I can do with that. It's better than what it was. Um, yeah, I kind of like it. It's functional. I can grab stuff without having to search for it. So that's pretty much the goal of this reorganizing. Grab stuff without having to search for it. And here's another knife that can go in here. Or like this. All right, moving right along. I got to finish this counter right here.